morning everybody welcome to vlogmas day nine here at the dally society my name is Kristen, and my channel is all about creating your own wardrobe unboxing the advent calendar now this is from our online store of course back in august i put out pre-orders for these and they were hugely successful so next year we'll be definitely releasing these again so make sure you're signed up to my newsletter if you want to be and the know about when, when things are released, new fabrics and new bespoke boxes as well. And don't forget Sunday night here in Australia, uh, the 11th, Sunday the 11th, I actually said week, weeks ago it was the 8th, I was wrong, I don't know where I got that date from, but it's definitely this Sunday, 7 p.m. here, Australian Easter Daylight Savings Time. That box will be released and that is the New Year's Eve soiree box. So you'll get a beautiful bespoke box there and you must be quick when you, uh, Definitely set your alarms because there are limited numbers this month because of Christmas. So I cannot wait for you to see what's inside that box. It's a real treat. It's, uh, it's gonna be fabulous. So let's get started on the advent box. We're getting down, of course, this is 12 days of Vlogmas. Now you can either start this on the first, like a lot of you, most of you have, and a couple of you are starting on the 14th. So you the old fashioned traditional 12 days of Christmas countdown. You can do it either way, but of course, if you don't want spoilers, maybe fast forward this bit now and um, come back and watch it later on. Uh, let, let's see, okay, day. Except that this bag is a bit open, so I can see what it is, but my bag may be different to yours. Day nine already, can you believe it? That means there's only three more days of the advent calendar to go. So it's just flown by. I've loved going through this um, every morning with you guys. Uh, day nine. Okay, we've got the Hemline Gold chalk pens. These are pencils. These are fantastic. I lose mine every time I have the chalk. I have the old-fashioned chalk. I've also got the invisible markers that I just lose. The lids come off them. So I can never have enough of these floating around the, um, the sewing drawer. So they're fantastic. And also a hot chalky. I know a lot of you guys don't have tea or coffee, so hot chocolate is a good alternative for a nice morning cuppa. And I've just gone and bought myself some mince pies because I love them. It's one of my main things about Christmas. I love the mince pies and the brandy cream and custard. And um, I also love a good plum pudding. Now, of course, it's really weird because here in Australia, it's it's meant to be warm today, 16 degrees, which is really unseasonal for summer, which is ridiculous. Um, I've got my Ocean Days oversized shirt. You're meant to be floating around with this on in the summer breeze and it's really chilly out there. So I think this weekend we're warming up a little bit and before you know it, we're gonna be falling into the heat waves. So I'm not complaining too much because I don't cope well with that really, really strong heat. And it's been uh, a lot more muggy than normal. It's going to be um, a lot more rain. Of course, we've had a lot of rain overnight here too. So I hope that you guys are all safe and well. I hope you're all having a wonderful December so far. I'd love to know what you're up to. Please write in the comments below what you're doing at the moment, whether you're sewing something, whether you're still working, whether you're on a break. Um, the kids, of course, my youngest daughter, Lily, is I think it's her last day tomorrow. Um, so that'll be it for year eight for her. She'll be into year nine next year, which is crazy. Uh, my 17-year-old son is starting a TAFE course next year. He's doing the hairdressing set three course. So Hooray, a hairdresser in the family will be fantastic. So that's all happening for him. Now I do have twin daughters that are 24 and Charlotte will be graduating next week for her Bachelor of Teaching, Bachelor of Education. So we're going to her big graduation night. Uh, the other twin, Eliza, is an OT and our eldest daughter, Phoebe, just turned 26 and she's an optician. So they've all got really good jobs. Um, it's oh, look, it's amazing when you see them go through all the training and they get to the end there and start looking for for their first job and you can remember that feeling uh, when you start working full time and how you have many years of study behind you and sometimes it's just the confidence thing that you need to get you to the other side and it's yeah it's all growing up and learning so I'm really proud of them all they've done a wonderful job uh, but yeah it's a very very busy house and of course for Christmas we're going to be having Christmas dinner here for, for tea uh, which we always do uh, have a big crowd with all their partners and mum and mum and um, family and also we uh, tend to love putting on a big spread so hubby will always do the smoked turkey um, I love doing a nice pavlova and lots of salad 
holidays as well. So uh, we're hoping to have a nice warm Christmas night because we do all love sitting outside and having a bit of a drink as well. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really fun time of year and I'd love to hear what you guys are doing for Christmas and how you celebrate and maybe what your favourite recipes are to cook as well. So today I'm off to mum's. We're about to go and get some new fabric into the city again uh, because the linen viscoses have sold so well, unbelievably well. We're having to restock those already because I don't want to be running out of those before the really hot weather starts because it's so nice and cool to wear and I can't wait to start on my Ocean Days um, shirt, my short sleeve ones. Charlie Caftan, I will show you guys it is on the mannequin here and you can see it is halfway done so it is looking really nice so far. I actually I forgot how tedious that front placket bit is on the Charlie Caftan and it is a little bit uh, finicky and if you don't get that accurate squared up um, the way it's stitched on the front there it can be a little, look a little bit haphazard. What I've done is I've used double-sided tape or heat and bond tape to help stick mine in the exact right spot before I stitch around it. So that's a little hint and tip there. If you're wanting to make the Charlie caftan, that's a great way to do it. We're just shopping in Bunnings. Have a look at these beautiful poinsettias. So back home after picking up our fabric, our little uh, jaunt into Bunnings, and now I'm listing some of the new linen, uh, the gold colour I'll show you. This process takes quite a while in uploading photos and doing descriptions on the website. So that is what I'm doing for the next few minis, and then I'll be doing a newsletter for tonight. I'll show you guys the plants that I picked up, the veggie seedlings and some herb seedlings as well. So these are things we got from Bunnings. So I've got some basil some tomatoes we've got the little sweet white ones which i love the little napoli they're called these ones i had last year they were fantastic the little like lemon drop ones we've got the diggers chili jalapenos hubby loves his chilies we've got some heirloom diggers club you can see cucumbers which grow really really well some marigolds to help everything pollinate and we've got some i love these mad hatter capsicums look really cute so there goes the garage door <laughs> so that's what we got today reading a bit about companion planting and the dahlia um, dahlia bulbs or tubers that i planted in here they love um, companion planting with cosmos and look at these seedlings I planted about a month ago, they are just doing amazingly, popping up everywhere. And in this garden bed, I've also planted some zinnia seeds 
but I have a feeling that the chooks have got in and scratched them all up. So it's been a really weirdly cold day, so not sure how they're going to go. But looking forward to seeing them, and the jasmine looking really nice too. Still plenty of lemons on the lemon tree. It's really been a bumper year for lemons. I just haven't had the time. I normally make lemon curd or lemon cordial, but this year I have not had a spare moment to even think about it. But look at them, they're beautiful. Okay, time to prepare dinner. We're having, hmm, let me see, Hello Fresh again. Thai red chicken curry. I'm feeling really tired. I probably look tired. I've had a really, really busy week. And, you know, it all catches up with us eventually. So I can't wait this weekend to get away into the city um, to see Billy Joel and just have a bit of a look around at some shops, some window shopping, have some coffee, a couple of drinks and some nice meals and really just wind down a little bit before it gets back to work Monday and the crazy time begins again. Now you can see behind me the Charlie Cat pan is halfway there. I'm really liking the look of the print in that big long maxi dress. I can't wait to float around. It's really beautiful. Um, so I'm going to start doing a bit more sewing and just sew the facing in. And I reckon I might be able to have a finish tonight. I showed you this. I think I had one of the fabric Friday episodes, but these beautiful sewing pouches that I have in store, I've actually pinched a couple for myself because I love them so much. They're so pretty. You can use them for anything. You can actually use them for sewing notions or even just toiletries and makeup and using them for a travel pouch. So that one's um, Journey Beyond Reverie. That one's gorgeous. Look at that. And the other one was the Mother Nature. I think that one might have sold out in the store but I will be getting more of these in if you love them and you would like me to get more just send me an email and let me know because they are really pretty and it's got all the info from the artist each artist that's designed the artwork on them so really pretty and also another thing that I haven't got in the store yet but I wanted to know if you guys thought they were cute or not and that is this little ceramic tray they're a trinket tray that one's called Mexican Dream and I use them for putting my clips on. And some people have magnetized dishes like that. Um, I'm not really sure how to do that. I might look up how to do it because it'd be great for a pin dish to put little bits and pieces on. So I love things like that. I just love bright colored uh, novelty things for the sewing table. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd mention that. And also, don't forget there's the candles, the Soist candles, the Wister candles that I have in the online store as well. Um, you've got the Couture Companion or the Serene Soister. Really nice scented candles to have wafting around. And I do have one over there burning too. Oh, I love, love candles. They're my thing. I actually love putting one on every night to wind down and relax, watch a bit of TV. So you a candle fanatic? Let me know if you are. Um, and if you haven't tried one of the candles, definitely think about uh, grabbing a set from the luxury candle section in the online store as well. So back to the sewing. Thanks for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed day nine of Vlogmas here at the Daly Society. I think I'm going to grab a little treat from my secret hiding spot. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.